traders, uh, update today. Really special day in the marketplace. I want to welcome everybody uh, that's on social media and here in the room. The world's greatest and largest trading competition continues now through the 10th. And I've got to tell you, it has been an unbelievable journey. If you remember the commentary last week, we had one special trader got out of the gate really, really quickly. And uh, that trader now is nowhere to be found in the competition. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a little bit more here. I want to take you through a couple of things. We've got a brand new leader, Bilal, and, uh, on Corey Keller's team. And pay special attention. Boris keeps moving up the, uh, up the ladder here. And this person here, who I don't know personally, but uh, who I've had some, uh, some intel on, uh, this is the person, if you remember, Mayor, had, uh, came to us and um, got into... Uh, got into TradeNet by getting into the free, uh, you know, uh, winning of a package. And he's a real talented trader. He won the demo challenge, got his package, and now is in second place in the trading competition. Great student of ours, a great community member on Ethan's team. And uh, we see Mike's team doing very well up here. Mike Sanders has got quite a few people in there. Competition is becoming a lot more stable. We've got uh, a lot of the a lot of the traders that started off the challenge that kind of had that bang right out of the gate. If you remember solely the trade, a lot of traders traded that, made big money. We keep talking about the tortoise and the hare. We keep talking about the traders that are more consistent, more focused, and taking a little chunk at a time. They're starting to emerge and starting to really be focused and and credited for doing a great job. So when you start looking at that, we've had elim we've had a ton of eliminations on the podium. Uh, Anwar, as you guys know, Anwar was our day one and day two leader. Uh, he started the competition with a huge lead. And unfortunately, the old tortoise and the hare, like I had talked about before, I've got a little picture for you guys here. On one, the tortoise and the hare, he had the huge lead but unfortunately, the old tortoise and the hare becoming more of a sort of a mantra now as we're starting to see more and more casualties as, as the pressure starts to increase every day. So a great, great little picture as we get into the day today. So we've got a brand new leader, okay? And one of the things that I talk about, if you're not, if you're not aware of this, and maybe it's just a U.S. thing, but I think it's pretty much, uh, if you look at the tortoise, accelerate. Be the tortoise and not the hare. Be the one that's consistent. Take the time and be consistent every day. Do the job. Keep the focus. And I believe that that's what it's going to take to be a winner. We talked about it, again, in our mentoring class last week. We've been talking about it for the week prior to the event. And now with what? We've got seven days left or so, uh, trading days. And I can't wait to see who the winner is. Okay? So the number three, the number four, the number 12 and the number 18 trader traders from last week are all out of the top 20 now and some out of the competition. So really, really unbelievable here. This is day number five of the competition. And I know that a lot of the competitors are waiting, to, waiting for about this time to really start their race, to really get into it. And if you're one of those traders, as you start to trade and as you start to accelerate, remember the tortoise and the hare. Remember how you need to be focused, how you need to be consistent. And it's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint because you've seen the sprinters be eliminated. Okay? So, again, we've had another 100 eliminations um, this past Friday. And going into this week, there has, a little, has been a little bit thinner. And there you see the number 3, 4, 12, and 18 competitors all gone from the top 20. All of them gone. Okay. Here's the daily eliminations. Now, the good thing about this chart is day one, you had a lot of the gamblers right here in day one. A lot of the people that were just pressing the accelerator down hard. A lot of the people that thought of it as just uh, a gambling atmosphere. Same thing with day two. But as you see, day three and day four, the eliminations are less. We're seeing the cream rise to the top. And uh, that's, where we wanna, that's what we want to see on a day-to-day -day basis here as we go forward. Less and less eliminations, 
more and more great traders coming to the top. Okay. So I see approximately so, again, 800, 800 or 900 eliminated by now, Scott. Yeah, absolutely. We had uh, three and 250, 550, uh, six, yeah, about 800 now, 800. Friday's eliminations, we had 79 people eliminated due to the daily loss limit, so you lost more than you could. Five, the maximum loss, and 11, we still, some traders just don't get it. Some people just hold their overnight positions, which you cannot do in the trading competition. So 844 total traders, Mayor, are out of the competition, 844. And I believe that would be now, approximately, um, how many started, like 3,000 or so? Yeah, almost 3,000. So we've got 800 eliminated. I have to say, I, I, it's, not, it's not a huge number. So it is, uh, you could expect that there will be like uh, 800, 9,000, I don't know, 900, maybe 1,000 sort of gamblers, you know? So this is uh, something that I can, I can understand that. So it's, it's the vast majority is still trading. That's good news. So now I think it, uh, I think it, it, it's a good thing like we've been doing. We've been taking the top three traders and we've been breaking them down. So this is Bilal. These are Bilal's trades. On, and this is our number one trader traders. Um, traded only one symbol. Only one symbol. Okay. And that was on, on Friday. Okay. Only one symbol. And the symbol was TVIX. Right. And that symbol was traded... First five minutes of the market open, traded TVIX two times, 4,000 and 6,000 shares, and sold the whole position after two minutes, 10,000 shares that ended up in a loss. And after that, decided to short TVIX 1,000 shares and covered in two minutes with another loss. Okay? So, so even though sorry, he ended the day in a loss, about $3,000, he's still in first place. So to say that's caught, that's gambling. He's still in first place. Yep, yep. But I mean, and I mean, you see somebody going in, going in and buying and then selling and then and then going short. You know, it's it's you can't make up your mind, Mayor, right? You're either going you're going no, long, then just, you're going short. It, it can not continue. Yep. It, it, I mean, unless it changes his ways real quick, he just had a lucky day. Yep. So even as a losing day, a losing day, Bilal still handles still is in first place now. Let's take a look at second place here. Traded six symbols, General Motors, GPS, NTNX, STZ, UGAZ, and ZUO. And as soon as the market opened, I mean right here at the market, 9.30 and 9 seconds, put in a short of 4,000 shares of NTNX and covered it in around three minutes in two, two transactions, 3,200 and 800 shares, made Is, a profit. Would that be Boris? And then after 10 minutes, shorted again. What's that? Is that Boris? That's uh, no, that's NTNX. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this is uh, this, this trader here is uh, Boris. Yes, Boris. Sorry. That looks much more sustainable. So Boris. Uh, much, much more sustainable. Yep. Boris. Uh, yep. Opens with that NTNX short. Covers up. Covers as you can tell. Shorted four thousand shares and then covers in one thousand, two thousand, and one thousand shares each in increments. And bought to cover them 10 minutes later with a small profit. And then shorted STZ, two transactions, 500 each. Shorted 8,000 shares of GPS, CUO, 4,000 shares. Shorted 4,000 shares of General Motors with a small loss. And General Motors is the only stock that which he traded and didn't make a profit on. All the rest were profitable. So a great profitable day on Boris. And then the last one here. The last one we're going to cover, and this will be the last one for today, and we'll get back to uh, the trading this morning. This is going to be Jacob, and Jacob's trades are as follows. Um, was averaging, uh, traded two stocks, OKTA and TWLO, shorted 2,100 shares of OKTA in four transactions, 1,000, 300, 300, and 500, and was clearly averaging, and, and in my opinion, not the way to really trade we talk about this all the time and then ended up covering that with a with a small loss did the same thing with TWLO ended with a loss it was very close to the maximum daily loss limit but still currently in third place okay so that gives you an idea of where we are with the leaderboard how people traded 
Again, we're day number five out of the 10, 10 trading days left, or 10 trading days total. And Mayor, I said it day number one, I'm going to say it again, consistency will win this race. Consistent, good trading is going to win this race. I'm happy to see that. I cannot wait for that winner to be not. I, I think this says it all, Mayor. I think this chart, believe it or not, this chart right here says it all. You've got the gamblers on day one, the gamblers on day two, and then we start to see the cream of the crop raised to the top. Yeah, it looks good. Looks much better now. But uh, we still have some uh, what are your... some gambling going on, and uh, but you know we're still. This is day four, right? I mean, this is just the beginning of the competition. So, oh, day five actually. No, day yeah. four. Day five. Yeah. Day five is today. So we're not yes. we're not even through half. Uh, after today, after today, we're going to be through half. So uh, we'll see what's coming next. I, I I think, for example, TVIX trader, unless he's very talented and doing something I don't uh, understand, uh, which is not very likely, I have to say, uh, that he's doing something that I don't understand. Not being talented, he could be very talented. Sorry for that. Didn't mean to sound like that, but. Uh, uh, the thing is, if you keep on uh, trading TVIX, and I hope he's hearing me, if you keep on doing that, not likely to succeed, very likely to get eliminated. And um, or lose, even if you don't, um, even if you don't uh, get eliminated, or lose a big amount of money. So not very likely. And then the averaging down winners, uh, sorry, losers, that doesn't work. We know that for sure. So if you guys are hearing me, if you're in the competition and you can change the way you uh, you work, then maybe you have a chance to win. Or you can keep on being very, 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 very lucky until the end of this competition and be winners. But I don't think it's very likely. Yeah. You know, traders, one of the things I did want to say real quickly here, as Mayor's still with us, um, that don't forget... <laughs> We're only five days into the into this challenge. You have plenty of time. If you've been taking a couple of trades a day, you've just been hanging out, you're, you're, you're marginally green, you're marginally red, you have a chance to win this. You have a chance to win this. And the thing that I really respect, and I hopefully everybody here in the room and on social media respects what Mayor is saying, because we're, we're calling out individual people. And we're, we're doing that because we want everybody to learn from either other people's mistakes or other people's successes. And when you're trading great and you're trading the way you should be trading, then we'll pat you on the back. And if you're not and you're a gambler, we're going to kick you where it hurts. But I think everybody can respect that because it's coming from professional traders that do this every day, every single day. Mayor and myself are here in the room trading profitably. That's what we do. That's what we teach. And that's what we want to see from this trader and these group of 10 traders that are going to win accounts. I mean, Mayor and the rest of the company has stepped up, put the money where the mouth is, and we are awarding these, these accounts to the top 10 traders of our competition. So traders, stay in there, be focused, be consistent, don't be a gambler. We're going to see where this lies. Yeah. It's going to be awesome, Mayor. I cannot wait to talk to that winner. And you're absolutely right. Everybody still have a chance to win. We're only after day four. These are the results of day four. We've got uh, day five to ten. So we're still going. Good luck, traders. And uh, hope you keep in the competition and do well.